So from the last video, we set our dominating color value. Here is all blue. We get the location of that dominating color, and then we use that location to send down a dominating color value. That value is then sent into this uniform parameter, and it is uniform over every vertex on the triangle, and we just use the dominating color for the color of the vertex instead of using the varying vertex color we have now dominated the color. So that's that's a basic review of last video. In this video I want to talk about why we call them uniforms and how uniform data is a little different. DirectX actually calls this data constant, which I don't think is a good term for it because constant to me means constant, like it will never ever change. I know on all my variables and all my programming when I put const that variable will never ever change. OpenGL used the term uniform Instead, I like that term more because uniform means it's uniform or, I guess, uh, constant. Ah, no, let's say it's uniform over the entire draw call. All right, we send the uniform data down to OpenGL, and that data is uniform for this draw elements. But I can certainly change that uniform value for another draw call, and let's do exactly that. What I want to do is to have a different dominating color for a different triangle and in order to have a different triangle show up on the screen I'm going to add yet another uniform value which I will call the Y flip value and if Y flip let's say Y flip we'll first set it to 1 and what we'll do is multiply all the Y locations of these three vertices Y locations of all these three vertices will multiply them by this Y flip, and anything times one will give me back the exact same value as I had before. And then we're going to change that uniform value to a negative one. The Y flip value will be a negative one. Well, this vertex's Y location is plus one. Positive one times negative one will move this vertex location down to the bottom of the window. Same thing here. This vertice location is negative 1. Negative 1 times negative 1 would actually move this vertex up to this corner of the window. And same thing with this vertex over here. So essentially I'm going to flip the triangle upside down. But I'm going to render two triangles. I'll render our original red triangle. And then I'll flip the triangle upside down and we'll render another triangle. But we will change the uniform value for that second triangle. That's why I say I like the word uniform because I can change the uniform value for that one draw call. And if it was truly constant as DirectX calls it, then I wouldn't be able to change it. Anyway, let's do just that. Let's introduce a Y flip a uniform value. Uniform float Y flip and then real simple GL position gets the position of this vertex but then I'm going to say GL position dot y gets gl position dot y times y flip and right, there's they were going to flip the y over the x-axis or this is considered scaling by negative one there's some terms to chew on for future videos anyway i think we're good there we still have the dominating color so now all we have to do is get the y flip uniform location the exact same way we did the dominating color uniform location i'm going to put this on a new line so we can see it all together and let's do it gl int y flip uniform location gets gl get uniform location for my program ID, the only program we have so far. We'll have more programs later. I call it Y flip. And then, you know what? I'm going to put these gets next to each other. So we say get the dominating color uniform location. Get the Y flip uh, uniform location. Let's put dominating color. Oh, we'll put it right there. And then here we say, okay, GL Uniform 3F, here's the dominating color we said red to start out with. And then GL Uniform, it's not three floats anymore, it's a single float, so I'll say 1F, and I won't do the vector, I wonder if there is a vector, ver yep, there is a vector version, interesting. But I won't use the vector version because it's only one float. Y flip Uniform Location, 
and I want to start with uh, one. Okay, we're not going to flip anything on the first call. We shall do the draw. In fact, I'll move this draw up with the uniform. So these uniforms are good for this one draw. They will be uniform for this draw. And then now let's go change the uniform values. In fact, I'm just going to be dirty and copy and paste this. Copy, paste. But the dominating color, we need to change some values. So dominating color dot red will be 0. And then dominating color dot blue will be 1. Okay, we'll render a blue triangle instead of a red one. And on this one, I want to flip over the Y, so I'll put negative 1 there. And so over that call, over this duration of draw elements, we're drawing the exact same triangle again. The Y flip value will be negative 1 for every vertex. It won't be varying. Instead, it is uniform. And same thing with the color. We have the dominating color. It will be blue instead of red. Blue right there. Okay, let's control F5. Let's see what happens. And there you go. We have a red triangle and a blue triangle. The blue triangle failed the depth test. Remember, these triangles are both of the exact same depth. We have the depth buffer enabled, and we cleared it. But that isn't, that's not really the point of this video. The point is, hey, I did change the uniform values over the different draw calls. So I hate to beat a dead horse, but DirectX just does call uniforms constant. You could think of them as constant over the draw call, but I like uniform because it doesn't muck with my brain and think, oh, const has to be const.